The earth is just too small and fragile a basket for the human race to keep all its eggs in. Robert Heinlein Space exploration is rapidly ramping up in this decade. Exciting for us astronomy hobbyists. But apart from our own curiosity and watching space videos or buying an expensive telescope, what if our survival depends on exploring beyond our fragile blue dot? Welcome to Orbiting Curiosity. Today, we'll be uncovering why space exploration is more than just curiosity. It is important for scientific progress, technological innovations, and ensuring our survival. If you're as fascinated by space as I am, make sure to hit that subscribe button and drop a comment, and we can have some discussions together. The dinosaurs became extinct because they didn't have a space program. And if we become extinct because we don't have a space program, it will serve us right. Sci-fi author Larry Niven. This quote always makes me laugh. He is very right. Let's start with one of the most exciting aspects. Knowledge. Space research is about reshaping our understanding of the universe and life itself, not just about curing our own curiosity and seeing pretty pictures from James Webb. In my opinion, one of the biggest contributions of space exploration, which adds to our daily life a lot, is probably GPS technology. GPS is used by us every day in cars, boats and planes. It has become indispensable in our daily lives, like using Google Maps to find your way around a new city. This can be traced back to the 1960s when the US military was looking at new ways to track things from space. They developed GPS using satellites and now it's part of our everyday life. From hiking to tracking your Amazon package or Uber Eats orders, you can thank space exploration for this. Another example of something we use every day is weather satellites. These are essential tools, of course, for monitoring atmospheric conditions and analyzing weather and temperature variations, etc., etc. But for us everyday people, they help us plan out our day to day life. I always check the weather before going on a long day out. Something I take for granted, which stems from space exploration. The Tyros, or Television Infrared Observation Satellite Program, marked a turning point in April 1960, when the US launched its first successful weather satellite. This also led to further advances in our technology, and we began developing more sophisticated weather satellites. From travel to agriculture, disaster management and energy production. This is just another example of how space exploration has enhanced our lives. When it comes to knowledge, space exploration can also be credited with enhancing our understanding of materials science. It has drove forward the development of high performance materials. The need for material to create spacecraft has subsequently been applied in various industries. This affects us every day without us realizing, such as the materials used in our smartphones and computers or even clothing fabrics. What's the coolest gadget you own that might have roots in space exploration? Let me know in the comments below. I believe current and future space exploration has the potential to significantly influence our daily lives, at least for us normal people. The knowledge we gain from missions such as the rovers on Mars or sending probes to asteroids can allow us to better understand other fields such as material sciences, energy efficiency and automation technologies. The knowledge we gain from perhaps biology in space could also yield medical advancements leading to new treatments and technologies. The knowledge we gain also encourages international cooperation, which is never a bad thing. Space exploration is not merely a quest for knowledge. It also promises a new frontier of natural resources. The moon, Mars and asteroids are key celestial bodies, offering mineral and energy resources that could revolutionize our future. Firstly, let's take a look at asteroid mining, a promising emerging frontier in space exploration. Asteroids often contain metals like iron, nickel and platinum group elements, even ice. 
It sounds like something straight out of a movie, but it's a real field and is being explored by scientists. Asteroid mining could enhance our life down here on Earth in many ways. The environmental impact, firstly, is worth mentioning, as extracting materials from asteroids could reduce the need for mining on Earth, which of course minimizes the environmental damages we cause to our planet. And of course, the technology that will be required for asteroid mining could lead to further innovations in technology. However, if all goes well, the increased supply of rare metals and minerals could mean everyday products like our smartphones and computers could become much cheaper, which could mean we all can finally afford a computer that can run Minecraft with shaders. <laughs> The moon is also a potential resource hub due to its abundance of valuable materials. The lunar surface contains regolith, which refers to loose material that covers the bedrock on planetary surfaces. On the moon, this is rich in minerals such as oxides, titanium, aluminium, etc, etc. Recent discoveries have also suggested that there might be ice in some craters near the poles of the moon. This could be extracted and used for hydration, breathing systems, or even fuel. I believe there are more ethical impacts though about harvesting resources on the moon. It should be done, I believe, especially to help us create a self-sustaining moon base it will help us in future missions like Artemis, but harvesting resources on the moon should be regulated to a degree. I doubt a little digging could upset the moon much, but you never know. Humans are good at wrecking celestial objects, as we've seen. On a similar note, Mars also hosts a variety of materials itself and is much bigger than the moon, meaning we have more leeway on ethical problems of harvesting Mars for its resources. The planet contains minerals such as magnesium, aluminium, chloride, etc, etc. These resources are crucial for creating a self-sustaining colony on Mars. By harnessing these materials, humans could potentially achieve self-sufficiency on Mars. This reduces dependency on Earth's resources and enhances the feasibility of long-term colonization. Why is this important? I refer back to the quote I mentioned about the dinosaurs going extinct because they didn't have a space program. All of us being bunched on Earth threatens our existence. Whether you think the humans existing is a good thing or not, is completely up to you. <laughs> I'll leave that one with you. To summarize this chapter, resource utilization from space promises an exciting future for us all. However, transporting these resources across vast distances is not so simple and will probably cost a fortune. But like I say, with every roadblock comes a solution and growth. Though we must consider ethical dilemmas, ensuring we use these resources wisely, fairly, and protect the environments from which we extract them, especially if we were to find microbial life out there. But with a sprinkle of genius and global collaboration, this could pave the way for a future where Earth's resources are no longer our only reliance. We could unlock technology that not only sustain, but enhances our life on Earth and beyond. Space exploration can also inspire future generations to explore and continue to innovate the technologies we already have. The achievements of astronauts, scientists and engineers who contributed to missions like Apollo, lately Perseverance and also the ISS serve as powerful role models. This can inspire young minds to pursue careers that will help shape and change our future. The Apollo 11 moon landing may have inspired the generation that went on to create technologies like personal computers and mobile phones. But of course, space exploration is also about survival, ensuring the future generations actually have a place to exist. If you believe becoming multiplanetary is important for our survival, hit like and let me know in the comments below. But space exploration could also help us protect our planet. It enhances our understanding of Earth's environment. By studying other planets, we gain valuable insights into sustainable practices that could help create solutions for our planet, like reducing mining on Earth and also helping us tackle issues like climate change so we can create a more sustainable Earth for the future generations. 
Of course, of course, though, I still believe spreading out across the solar system is really important. In case anything ever happens to hit us that we can't prevent, or a global disaster, you know, things like that. Actually, going to space itself must be a bewildering experience. The view from space, can you imagine? Looking down on Earth has inspired astronauts to advocate for environmental protection, protecting our beautiful little rock, and also calling for more international collaboration. It must really shift your perspective seeing Earth from space for the first time. If only we could all see Earth from space just once, just once with our own eyes, perhaps the world would be a better place. Drop a comment below about what space inspires in you. And don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the video so far. Space exploration is extremely complex. Like, really complex. Every mission presents a unique set of challenges that push the boundaries of our human ingenuity. These challenges, though, are not merely obstacles to overcome. They are the catalysts for human innovation. Space, obviously, is a hostile environment for us humans. Extreme temperatures, intense radiation. Designing spacecraft that can withstand these conditions requires advanced materials and engineering. The development of multi-layer insulation systems of satellites and spacecraft shields them from the severe temperature fluctuations and radiation. Hopefully, we can continue advancing in this field and overcoming these challenges for the future. Travelling these vast distances in space demands efficient propulsion systems. Rockets require crazy amounts of energy. Ion thrusters and solar sails have significantly improved the efficiency of deep space travel. These technologies have enabled missions like NASA's Dawn spacecraft to explore distant asteroids with minimal fuel consumption. And of course, sustaining human life in space is another technological challenge we need to overcome. The development of advanced life support systems that recycle air and water have been crucial for long-term missions on the ISS. These technologies have also had applications in Earth-based industries, such as water purification systems used in remote areas. As we continue to figure out how to sustain human life on the moon and on Mars, I expect further advancements in such life support systems that will hopefully translate down to us on Earth and help us out. Space exploration is also advancing the field of robotics and automation, which I find really exciting. The Mars rover missions are an obvious example, as the engineers must design robots capable of navigating Mars's varied terrains and ensuring it can conduct experiments autonomously. But as AI continues to innovate, this enables rovers to adapt further and hopefully can pave the way for more sophisticated robotic systems. Because, as realistically, for now at least, robots are probably our only way of exploring places like Europa, Venus, and even the closest star to us, Proxima Centauri. Because it would probably take a tiny, tiny robot to fly there in any decent time at all, especially with our current technology. What do you think should be the biggest priority of a challenge we need to overcome in space? Let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you for a little discussion. But then, how do we maintain communication across these distances with our robots? This requires cutting-edge communication technologies. The development of high-frequency antennas and laser-based communication systems have improved data transmission and we continue to innovate it. It can only benefit humanity more back on Earth and also, of course, in the future of space exploration. The challenges up in space are formidable. Yet as we continue to face problems, we continue to innovate. It's human nature. I thought I'd wrap this video up with some personal opinions and reflections. A nice break from all the sciencey stuff I've just thrown at you. I believe the main way space benefits us all is of course the technological advancements, of course. 
Satellites have really changed our lives. I'd get lost so much without Google Maps. But here are some missions that are coming up in the future that really get me excited about how they can pave the way for new technology and knowledge. Obviously, humans on Mars. NASA's Artemis program hopes to get humans back on the moon and use this as a stepping stone for getting to Mars. The progress, though, that will be required to achieve this gets me super excited for whatever new technologies they manage to come up with during these missions. I would also really, really like to see a proper mission to Venus. NASA's Da Vinci mission is probably the best we're gonna get for a while. It aims to study Venus from near the top of the clouds of the planet's surface, as it will be carrying an atmospheric descent probe. But I'd love to see a rover of some kind on Venus one day, but I understand right now it's probably impossible. I genuinely think Venus is just too interesting of a planet for us to just ignore. And finally, this is probably what I'm most excited about, exploring Europa. If you don't know, Europa is one of Jupiter's Galean moons. It's slightly smaller than Earth's moon, but it's one of the most promising places in our solar system to find an environment for life. Evidence suggests that beneath Europa's frozen surface is a global ocean of water. Scientists want to find out if there is also the right chemistry and energy to sustain life. Europa Clipper is equipped with nine instruments and gravity experiments it will make 49 flybys of Europa, helping gather data to help us understand more about Europa, hopefully paving the way for future missions. But what I really want to see, me and everyone else, is what's below the ice. God knows if we'll ever see that in our lifetime, but I suppose if they pick up any good indications of life from the Clipper mission, they'll get right to work on breaking down the barriers needed to get under that ice and have a good look. Maybe bring back a sample or something. We'll see. That's probably just me being optimistic. We have to wait until 2030 for Clipper to even arrive at Jupiter. I suspect I'll see you back here in another five years when I'm making a video about that. Exploring space is not just about discovering new worlds. It's about creating a better future for us all. The technologies developed from space missions have already transformed our daily lives, and I expect they'll continue to do so. Just have to be patient, though I'm pretty impatient. I want to know everything, and I encourage you all to do the same. Let's keep learning together and inspiring the future. I aim to bring you more up-to-date, real information. All my information pretty much comes from NASA and ESA's websites. And every step taken beyond Earth brings us closer to a brighter future here at home. Every roadblock presents a new challenge for us to overcome and grow. It's not just about curing our curiosity. It's about making life better here on Earth and preserving the human race. If you think that's a good thing. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Let's continue orbiting curiosity.